Have you heard about the Jew that he is in prison? <laughs> that he'll be executed at noon? So you have heard. And I don't care. But I was getting feeling that you sort of liked him. <laughs> Until he lied to me. Actually, what happened was <laughs> the Lord told me that he was an eyewitness of this Jesus Christ he preaches. He claimed that he personally saw his Jesus fulfill the prophecies of ancient Jewish scriptures. <laughs> he claims that he personally saw Jesus Christ <laughs> after the Jews had put him to death. <laughs> Alive again. Yes, I have heard him saying that too. <laughs> Until that moment. I thought there was something different about him. Once he told me all those lies, he sounded just like all of the other holy men who travel through Milapur. <laughs> they are all liars. Regardless, he is lying in four hours. Good riddance. I think you would, you should go to see him. You owe him that much. Owe him for what? Um, um, for entertainment or for good music last night or um, a food for three days. I, I don't like visiting prisoners in the winning moments before they die. One thing I'm trying to figure out, what he will get by preaching these things, if he really knows that he's not an eyewitness, that he thinks lies? Yes, she's right. He's not getting rich or popular. That's for sure. Um, he, he gains reward from his uh, so-called creator God. For lying. I would think his creator God would punish him. After all, he always says that his God would punish us for our sins. Yes, if he is lying, his God will torment him forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, we take a picture. Hmm. Okay, I'll go and visit him. Best of luck. Tambu convinced me to come. That's the only reason I'm here. I understand. You can prove me that I'm a liar. It amazes me that you would even consider this thing me. Why are you not afraid? Not afraid? They are going to cut off my head in a couple of hours. And I'm guessing before that they will beat me until I'm senseless. For I am really afraid. <laughs> Praying for what? A, a good escape? For your God to strike down all the people in the city? Praying for courage. Praying that it will go quickly. Praying for you, God, that you will that you were wrong. Tell them that your God is one of the many gods and they let you go. Tell them that no one really understood what you were saying. I will testify on your behalf. That would be a lie, Brian. Because my God is the only true God. And because I'm an eyewitness to Jesus Christ. I was there. I'm an eyewitness. Jesus Christ, death and resurrection from the dead. 
Many have already died for their testimony that they were eyewitnesses to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Are all of us insane? Anyone who follows a religion as crazy as yours deserves to die. I'm not afraid of that, my friend. I know what I have seen. You're about to die, Thomas, and your message <coughs> will die with you. I know. <laughs> Here's a funny thing. You're the only person in my life who knows the full story. You have been wherever I have told it. <laughs> you should have chosen your listeners. <laughs> a bit more carefully, I guess. Where did you put the scriptures you brought with you? I put scriptures of Jewish uh, scrolls and one of the life of Jesus Christ, written by Matthew, one of his disciples. They are hidden in a cave near the river. Could you find it? Mm. I know the spot. To whom do you want me to give them? To anyone who asks. To anyone who wants to know more. Somebody in the city must have heard enough, would like to find out more. <laughs> I doubt that. Mm. But I promise, mm. I will keep them safe. Mm. Thank you. Mm. You do not have to do all this, you see. All you have to do is admit that your God is one of the many gods. Just say it. Yeah. It gave me one more chance to free my 